Hey guys, Fuzzy here. How did you get rings on your hands? The game doesn't tell you how to do that, so it's expected to be lost and confused for newer players. I'll save your time. As of this video, you cannot get individual rings or accessories yet. However, they are all parts of full costumes they can find and unlock in the game that include rings. It is always the most common question, especially by newer players. As you see rings on my hands and other content creators through our streams and videos, I will show you all customs with rings and how to unlock them. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides in gameplays, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's start with the easy part. You can go to the Pirate Emporium at any time, on the second floor of the Order of Souls faction. Under the Pirate tab, search for the customs and crew sets. You'll notice that some of them will contain rings. As of this video, we have several. I will show you what's currently available, but keep in mind, the Pirate Emporium is updated every month, so checking it within the game will give you the most updated version. Use this as a reference. There are two types of outfits, the custom and the crew set. Like regular clothing store outfits, a custom is only available to you. However, the crew set comes in a variety of four. It is available to equip to all crew members as long as one of you owns it during that session. So, I own the Jack Sparrow crew set, any one of my crew members can wear it while sailing at the time. This set is one of the ones you can buy from the Pirate Emporium. We also have the Sea of Sands and the Rogue Tinkerer crew sets. Some of these have rings within their variants. There are more outfits in the Emporium, but I'm only showing you ones with rings. We also have the Ruby Splashtail Monarch custom, and my favorite in the Pirate Emporium, the Lunar Festival custom. The black glove thing with the rings makes it look smooth. These are straightforward. Go to the Emporium, pay real money, and now you have rings within that complete outfit. All these outfits come in whole pieces, you cannot change them around. As for in-game customs and how to unlock them. First, each faction has its rewards and promotions they unlock every 5 levels by visiting the designated NPC. For example, at level 15 of each faction, you can unlock their outfit by purchasing the Emissary License flag and the required level 15 promotion. Of all the available faction outfits, Gold Hordus costume is the one with rings. Many rings, and is probably the easiest one to get without paying real money at an early stage of your piracy. Next, we have the legendary Treasure Seeker. This is currently the top tier custom that comes with rings. It has two requirements to unlock. First, to be a pirate legend by reaching level 50 in at least three of the factions. Second, unlocking the ruling with the legends commendation that can be found under the mercenary voyages tab inside the build rats. This requires completing Athena's Run of Thieves Haven voyage five times. This voyage can be purchased from the Bilge Rats representative Larina at the tavern's entrance. Once everything's unlocked, you can head to the shop at the legendary hideout and get your legendary treasure seeker outfit with awesome rings. These are currently the ring outfits in the game. Of course, over time, the game will release more of these outfits, but as the title suggests, how to get rings. Currently, there are no gloves or costumes at the clothing store that provide rings and accessories. Still, I'm sure we will have that option over time, since if you go to the legendary hideout, you'll notice that the pirate lord is wearing a glove with a ring on it. Also, maybe we will get some of these outfits with jewelry as renowned rewards soon. I hope this video helps you choose the right costume with rings and makes you feel fancy. Fuzzy here, thank you for your time.